Hello friend, in this video we are going to see how the moment distribution method was used for the analysis of beam. So this is very simple type of continuous beam which are given here in which we use a moment distribution method. Okay, let's see how to calculate it. For, cal for calculating this, the very first step is to declaration of the sign convention. Here we take all the sign here we take all the clockwise movement as positive. Now moving towards the steps for calculating the movement. Okay, this was the first step. In the first step, we are calculating the fixed end movement. Here the name itself suggests that the fixed end movement means the end are fixed and we have to calculate the movement at the end. Okay, we consider the span A, B and B, C separately. For span A, B, the fixed end movement is mb by l square in bracket thrice of a minus l. So this is the standard formula. By using this standard formula directly, we are able to calculate the fixed end movement at the support. So for for fixing for calculating the fixed end movement from a to b, that is by direct directly use this formula. That is movement here is 180. B for this is 2, L is the total length 6, in bracket thrice of A, A here is 4, minus 6. By solving this equation, we get the fixed movement from A to B is 60 kN meter. Now we are calculating the fixed movement from B to A. Here the formula is MB by L square thrice of B minus L. By directly putting the value of B m and a in this equation we get the fixed movement from b to a equals to zero here wise we completing our span a b now moving towards the second span that is for span b c here the u dl is acting between point a and b and we have to calculate the fixed movement at the support so this is the some standard formula for calculating this fixed movement when the u dl is acting okay that is w l square by 12 here we take a negative sign why because the movement created at the support b is in the direction of anti-clockwise direction and we are taking a sign convention here that is clockwise movement that's positive and it creates the anti-clockwise movement that's why negative sign here here directly putting value w equals to 30 l is the total length between these two points that is 4 divided by 12 we directly get a minus 40 kN meter this is the fixed end moment from B to C. From B to C. Now for the calculation of fixed end moment from C to B, the formula is used W L square by 12. Here we are not taking negative sign because the moment created at this support is in the direction of clockwise sense at y positive. Just put the value directly that is 30 into 4 square that is L square by 12. We get the 40 kN. This is 40 kN is a fixed movement from C to B. Now the second step was the calculation of distribution factor. For calculating distribution factor, we just divide this in a tabular form. That is this column number 1 that is joint member. This is rotational stiffness. K is nothing but the rotational stiffness. Here is the summation of these two. Summation of rotational stiffness. And this is the distribution factor. I will represent here distribution factor. Distribution factor is nothing but the ratio of rotational stiffness to the sum of the rotational stiffness at the joint. Here in this question is only one joint. Joint is nothing but where the two beams are meet. Here only one joint and the member connecting this joint is B to A and B to C. Here this is rotational stiffness. For the rotational stiffness when the other end is fixed it is I by L and when the other end is roller the rotational stiffness for that is 3 by 4 I by L here the end other end is fixed that's why we take I by L I value is I and L length value is 6 just by directly calculating this we get 0.167 I for span BC for span BC the other end is fixed that's why we take i by l l value is 4 so we get 0.25 i 
the summation of these two is 0.417 how we know the distribution factor is nothing but the ratio of rotational stiffness to the sum of the rotational stiffness at the joint so here it is directly 0.167i upon 0.417i we get to 0.4 so distribution factor for this is 0.4 and here also to 0.25 divided by 0.417 we get the 0.6 now moving towards the third step that is the moment distribution cycle this was the main step in this okay so we are distributing this in the various color for just for the simplification manner if we go by this manner we get the accurate and correct answer so this is joint member distribution factor and the fixed end moment just represent this value what we calculated here for the joint a the member a b joint b there is a two member from b to a and from b to c joint c is c to b the distribution factor for a b we are not calculating that's why dash we are calculating the distribution factor for b a 0.4 for b c is 0.6 and we are not calculating for c b okay Fix and moment we are calculated for the E span from B A to B from B to C from C to D. Okay, so just represent the value what we calculated here. That is fix and moment from A to B. Fix and moment from A to B 60. Let's represent this value here. Fix and moment from B to A 0. Fix and moment from B to C from B to C is minus 40. So minus 40. So just this is the representation. Now the application of distribution sector that is balancing and distribution. Balancing and distribution. I, I can explain this step in the Kelsey. Okay. I will explain this step in the Kelsey. Here calculate the sum of these two points that is 0 minus 40 equals to minus 40 min minus of minus 40 we get the plus 40 just store this value okay now recall this value and multiply this value with the distribution factor that is 0.4 I get the 16 and 16 is for the span BC now also recall this value and multiply this value with this distribution factor means distribution factor for the BC we get the 14 okay as th this is the carrier or factor as the ends are as the end are fixed the half of the moment from this is carry over to the this support okay that is 16 by 2 carry over here 8 and 24 by 2 12 carry over here if the other ends are roller then the carry over factor is 0 just because of due to this two ends are fixed means in a and in c are fixed the half of the movement calculated from b to a that is b to a is transferred here for the b to a okay now calculating this the fixed end moment six, 60 plus 8 is 68 0 plus 16 16 and minus 40 plus 24 is 16 40 plus 12 plus 54 these are the final value of movement at the each this is the final value of movement at the each support that is the this is the movement at a to b this is the movement at b to a this is the movement from b to c and then this is movement from c to b okay now see how to draw the bending moment diagram this is nothing but the uh, free bending moment diagram what we see in our last video how to calculate it so this is the free bending moment diagram this is free bending moment diagram what we and this is the superposition of values what we calculate we calculate the moment at a that is 68 just we represent this value here now we calculate the moment minus 16 just represent here and the plus 16 is present here and join these points by the continuous line here we use the superposition principle this is a free bending moment diagram 
and this is the movement what we calculated you got the bending movement diagram now moving toward our fourth step now moving towards our fourth step that is the calculation for the shear force as we know shear force is nothing but the force which are used to, for calculation of shear force diagram okay now consider this span separately for span ab it is b movement we calculated from b a to b is 68 and movement we calculated from b to a it is also 16 we represent direction clockwise manner because both the movement we calculated is positive so for calculating shear force at b and reaction at b and a we take the movement at a so movement at a is 108 minus vb into total distance plus 68 plus this 16 we get the vertical reaction at vb is 44 kilonewton and as the moment is applied it is v b a and v a no other for vertical force that's why movement at a is downward and it is 44 kilonewton now moving toward the second span that is span segment bc segment bc we calculated the movement here that is movement from b to c is 16 and negative that's why we taken here the anti-clockwise direction and movement from c to b is clockwise movement that's why taken here the 52 clockwise and this is usdl acting this is the reaction at support that is v b c and we reaction and this is the reaction at c so by di directly taking movement at b we are calculating we are taking moment at b equals to 0, we are taking moment at b, we represent here, we directly calculate vc equals to 69 kN. And the second step was summation of upward force equals to 0. The only two summation, uh, sorry reaction upward and this is reaction downward. That is we directly calculate vbc, it is 51 kN. Therefore reaction at support, we calculated here. RA equals to 44 kilonewton. RB is a total of 2 that is VBA plus VBC. So 44 plus 51 we get 95 kilonewton here. And the reaction at C is 69 kilonewton. Okay. Now see how to calculate this draw this shear force diagram. So reaction at RA is downward. Here we represent downward and 44 kilonewton. Just represent 44 kilometer down, kilonewton downward. Sorry, <laughs> 44 kilonewton downward. Now there is no load from span A to B. From span A to B, the no load is acting between these two points. That's why straight line. And the reaction at B, what we calculate this 95 kilonewton. From B to C, the UDL is acting. That's why incline line from here to the 69 and the reaction at C is 69 upward. Here we calculate our shear force diagram. By completing this all, we analyze the beam by moment distribution vector. So it is very simple. If you go practicing with it, it is very simple to solve the any continuous beam by using this simple step. Thank you.